So hi everyone. The first big generative AI release of 2025 is here where UC Berkeley has released Sky T1 32B preview model which is a 32 billion reasoning model which has outperformed OpenAI O1 preview on coding and maths benchmarking. So this is crazy because it is a reasoning model, it is open source and it has just 32 billion parameters. Apart from that, they have also mentioned that train your own O1 preview model under $450. So this is the claim that the team has made on the blog that the team has released. So in this particular post, we will be running through its key features, certain metrics that team has reported and where to find the model and how to use it. So let's get started. Sorry for the interruption, but we have started our digital store data science pocket, which has a number of generative AI and machine learning resources, be it audio books, interview guides, crash courses. So check this platform out and the URL is in the comment section below. So as mentioned, as you can see here, it is a reasoning model excelling on mathematical and coding tasks. Talking about the key features, it has high performance reasoning on competitive performance like matches the performance of advanced models like O1 preview. Apart from that, it has dual domain expertise, ex excels both in mathematical reasoning, hence on math data set AIME that you have been hearing quite a while now and coding tasks as well. Cost effective training as the title of the blog said that was released by the team. Affordable training, the model is trained in less than $450, which is great. And the training is completed in just 19 hours using eight H100 GPUs, fully open sourced. So it's one of its kind model, which has open sourced everything, data, code, model weights, technical reports, everything is open source and reproducibility. It provides a single repo for data curation, training and evaluation, making it the easiest model to replicate. So I will be showing you one diagram that the team has shared showing how they are comparable with other models in terms of open sourcing their information. So if you see here, Sky T1 32 preview has open source everything, data, code, report, math, domain coding, domain model weights. Now, if you compare it with other models, O1 has open source nothing, just the math domain and coding domain metrics, not the weights, not reports. Same goes with QWQ by Alibaba, Quen team, if you remember, they haven't open sourced the data, the code. So up comparing with Journey and Still2 also, they haven't open sourced everything, but it's just Sky T132B, which has open sourced everything. So now you have an LLM in your hand, you have the entire repo, just do anything you wish to do. So this is crazy and a great day for open source community. Talking about that data curation, it has used high quality data. 17k curated data set spanning mathematics, coding, science and puzzles. This is crazy volume. Rejection samples. It has ensured data quality also by discarding incorrect samples and combining math problems and complex coding problems together to enhance reasoning. Talking about the architecture, it has been fine tuned over Quen 2.5 32B instruct. So if you remember Quen 2.5 is by Alibaba. So they have used an open source model to create a new model. That is great and train for three epochs with a learning rate of this and a batch size of 96. I think this is more technical. We can skip this. While training, the team has mentioned two major important things in the blog itself. One is the model size do matter out. So they were trying to use the smaller models first, 17B and 14B, which showed limited improvements while the 32 billion model was the best and data mixture matters. Balancing mathematics with coding data was crucial for getting optimal performance. So it's not just the architecture or the model, even the model size and the data being used for training is a very crucial thing. Next up, we would be going to understand the different performance metrics that the team has shared. So this is the chart that the team has shared. As you can see, Sky T1 has outperformed O1 on mathematics. As you can see, it's a significant improvement by one. AIME also the improvement is 3.3. Live code bench, O1 is still pretty good. On medium, Sky T1 has beaten O1. As well as on hard also, Sky T1 has beaten O1. And on GPQ Diamond, I think it's way behind O1. So if you see it's 75, it's 56. Comparing to Quinn 2.5, 
the model has also improved massively here as you can see on AI ME from 16 to 43. This is a crazy improvement. But compared to QWQ, I think if you look into here, Mac 500 QWQ is better than Sky T1. Same goes for AI ME, same goes for Light Code Bench, easy. And the model performance is comparable on medium and hard. So basically Sky T1 looks to be a great model uh, compared to all the other models that are available and given everything is open source, I think it's your time to explore the code, how an LM gets trained and everything else, go for its reports, the data set being used, everything is open source. Now how to use the model, we'll switch to that. So as you can see here, Sky T1 32B preview is now available on Hugging Face. The model weights are present if you look here into the file section. The model ten safe tensor weights are present here. You can use it directly. Some information is present here as well. Where to find the codes? Just click here and go to transformers. You will get the codes as well. Just copy paste it, try it on Google Collab. I think it should be able to work on there. If not, you can try in your local system. The model looks great and being completely open source, I think soon you'd be seeing some major improvements on this model. So try out the model. Let us know in the comment section and let's see what comes next. Thank you.